I feel like this is always a tough topic not to like get people extremely mad or people extremely agreeing with you. Now, I'm going to talk about this because I think the consensus is that a lot of people, including me, don't really like CW Flash's Iris West. I'm going to make this extremely clear. I genuinely have a bit of a problem with Iris West from CW Flash. And I also want to make this clear. It has nothing against her as an actor or an actress. And frankly, a lot of the issues have a lot to do with just these different details and the way they decide to write her. And that's the reality of it. A lot of people will take out their hate on the actress, but I don't really see it as her fault really at all. And on top of that, yes, I could see you say that maybe her acting was a little flat later on in the seasons, and I honestly partially agree with that, but it doesn't help that the script that she was really given was never that good, in, just in the first place. CW has a tendency of making their female characters, um, at least main love interests, a bit off kilter to cause a little bit more drama, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Because I want to talk about this. Because Iris in the first three seasons isn't bad by any means. And really gives me the vibes of the normal Iris West. I know a lot of people will be mad and be like, well, why was she mad that Barry didn't tell her because Joe told him not to and stuff like that? Like, she didn't even think about um, the what he was going through or what he was thinking about during that time. And I must admit, initially I did feel like, wow, that's kind of annoying. But when you really think about it, it does make sense. They are best friends from childhood, and he decided not to tell her, and he could have still told her even if Joe didn't want him to, and so on. So I could see why she would be upset. Now, that doesn't really have that many long-lasting effects anyways, because she ends up being somewhat involved, and I think her role in the first three seasons is perfect she is barry's love interest that's what she is and on top of that she doesn't need to be insanely involved in every detail of the flash's life a lot of the comic iterations don't really have her as a quote-unquote main character she is like a side character but i think cw kind of has this tendency of making the love interest a really really main character and that could be good sometimes where we get something like a superman and lois which i believe is a beautiful show but then you get something like this where a lot of the people that enjoy cw flash or just that watch the flash in general or watched it back when it was still um airing or running um, just end up disliking the love interest because we get so much of her kind of in our face all the time. And I want to bring this up before I even get into a ton of my, um, my issues or a ton of my key points I want to talk about. I want to make this extremely clear. My opinions have nothing to do with her race. And frankly, if race is that big of a deal for you, you got to get your priorities looked at. I understand that she is white in, well, the comic books and stuff like that, but that is massively for a totally different reason, and it doesn't necessarily even matter that she is a different complexion, in my opinion, like, at all, and I know there are quite a few people, and I'm I'm, I'm sure uh, Grant Gustin and uh, I believe it's Candace Patton also address this too, that there are a lot of racism involving Iris West, but that is not my issue at all, like, not even close. So I want to just get that out of the way. So if that is your kind of issue, I mean, go take it somewhere else. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that. And I think it's ridiculous. Now, let's start with my first issue with Iris West. And it actually starts with season three. And I know I said season three was actually a pretty good season for her. One through three were pretty good seasons for her. But I want to talk about why I have an issue with her during this season. Now, it's not actually specifically her as a character, but it's actually what is done with her. We go through the entirety of Season 3 of The Flash with one big thing in mind, that speedsters are not gods. They are humans with godlike abilities. And that's something that's been built up, honestly, if I'm being transparent, um, throughout all the seasons of The Flash. That he has godlike abilities, but he is not god. Now... The entire season leads up to having Iris West be killed by Savitar or an evil version of Barry that is basically deeming himself and has tricked everybody in the entirety of basically the multiverse to believe that he is a speedster god. 
yeah, that's the type of Barry we're dealing with at this moment. And the issue I have, and it's going to sound weird, but it's that she should have died. Yeah, I know some of you may disagree, some of you may agree, and I believed this from the day the episode came out. I told a ton of my friends during that time, and yes, I was like in like middle school or something during this time, but I told a ton of my friends that if they revoked her dying, that it would be a big issue. And it wasn't because I didn't like Iris West at the time. It wasn't It wasn't because I thought we should be rid of her and she should be gone. Because I think a lot of those opinions of her not dying in Season 3 come after Season 3 actually already occurred. And, and we went through 4 or 5 and stuff like that. And I honestly thought she should have died or stayed dead in the first place because of the effect of the season. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, then it would have led to dystopia. Now, I don't think it would have. Barry saw what happened in the future, saw what he had to deal with, saw what happened to the future Flash. He knew what was going on. He knew what was uh, basically ahead of him. And it would have been a great thing to see in terms of, well, we know that it's all about beating the villain. But beating the villain does not mean you win. At the end of the day, if they defeated Savitar, but Iris West still died, just because sometimes you defeat the big bad guy does not mean you officially win. You can still win against the bad guy and still lose at the same time. And this would have added a completely different dynamic to the Flash TV show. It would have felt as if people could actually go away people that we cared about people that we saw as the forefront of the show people that we saw as important could just vanish in a blink of an eye proving and still leading you down the alleyway of we are not gods and barry has been told this on multiple occasions that just because he has the power of one that he is not one he cannot control everything that's going to occur and cannot control everything that's going to happen and the fact of Iris dying, the love of his life, or at least at this moment, he, and we've seen chemistry with other actress, actresses and stuff like that, which I'll get to in a second, actually. But having her pass on right then and there would put into perspective the pain Barry is going to feel. That he is no god, that he can't save everyone. As much as he wants to, he can't. And I don't think he would go off into this depression cycle the way that the future Barry did. Some people believe he would have, but I don't think that would be the case. At the end of the day, Barry would have seen what occurred with the, fu with the future Barry, would have seen even more than just, just beyond just that. I mean, he saw what happened because he went all dark mode. I mean, he saw that Cisco lost his hands. He saw that Killer Frost or Caitlyn was gone, and it was basically because of him. There was these massive massive things that would have happened or could happen if he didn't get his head on straight and that's just the fact of it so i believe that it wouldn't lead to dystopia but i think it would lead to a lot of a lot of them realizing that this is sacrificing that this whole entire like gig of being the flash being team flash saving people that they're always and will always be risking their lives to save others. And they lost someone like Iris West, someone like Iris, someone who's extremely close to them, whose family, who they love dearly, and they lost her in a blink of an eye. And they couldn't do anything about it. And I'm not going to lie. I hate the whole trickery of, oh, she's still alive. Because watching that scene where Barry's running and everything is slowed down, and you hear the music playing and with the music playing it's like this undertone music and you hear iris reciting her vows reciting and saying that he that she would love to marry barry allen that's who she would love to marry proving that she just loves him no matter what and proving that she was not okay necessarily with death but that she accepted it that she accepted it and as long as Barry followed 
like followed on with taking care of the people that he truly cares about that everything would be okay i think it would have summed up her character beautifully i think it would have been an amazing finale with her and on on top of that it's not like we would have never seen her ever again there is a multiverse and we would have most likely have seen her and honestly it's not like this was a one-for-one -one depiction of a comic book this was a totally different Barry that we've really haven't seen very often. And you could have made it a world where Iris West ends up dying. And I think it would have been probably for the better in the future of the Flash show than it actually being worse. Now, I will say, and something I want to get to because I'm rambling around about season three so damn much. It's the chemistry that Barry has or Grant Gustin has with other actresses that felt honestly quite a bit deeper than the chemistry he had with um with iris or with with candace now i'm not gonna say that this is at the fault of grant gustin and candace I i'm not actually 100 percent sure maybe it's the writing kind of the writing fell flat between both of them but it did feel as if the chemistry they had was a little flat in later seasons and it felt as if there were other main kind of characters or main um, female characters that could have been in the forefront for the main love interest of Barry. Now, I think the main ones people will think of is Patty, which we all really enjoyed Patty or a lot of us enjoyed Patty. That, that includes me. I absolutely loved Patty. And um, then we have Caitlin and Felicity Smoke. Now... I want to start by saying no discredit to Linda because I think Linda was great and frankly she was actually one of my favorite um, uh, Barry love interests during the show and it was just that she had a small sample size I'm not gonna lie it, so we really didn't just we didn't really get enough of their connection but I think it's easier to start with the two that is kind of mainly the most similar being that of patty and felicity right the or kind of in the same realm because they do are or they are in the same line of work um sort of right but with patty it's like she is the exact line of work for barry and honestly you see patty kind of deal with barry a lot more than anyone else having a ton of patience for him especially when he kind of goes like you know elsewhere out of nowhere and yes we know he's the flash but she doesn't at the time but at the same time she does put up with a lot of the bs that barry does and it even gets to the point that he has full intentions to reveal who he was to her being that of the flash now obviously it was decided that they were going to let her go because she would have been safer somewhere else and she would have been safer if she wasn't connected to barry or the flash now i'm gonna be honest i always found this to be extremely stupid now we there's so many people that are connected to the flash that barry cares about and iris is one of these which she's ends up being heavily connected to the flash as we go along season four season five and so on so i always found it extremely stupid that this was the decision that was made because he cared so much about her that that he should let her go and I know this was a Harrison Wells that has practically lost everything. And that was the advice he gave him. But at the same time, Patty should have stayed. And she could have been actually a pretty decent addition to Team Flash. Being that she was like on the inside of CCPD. She had extreme experience dealing with these metahumans already. She's basically... Um, this perfect person for team flash i mean i think cisco says it saying that she put bullets in harrison wells and also king shark so that's basically team flash material so she should have been let in but obviously she was let go and that is patty is one of if not my the like top favorite for love interests for the cw flash um but i think a lot of people and i kind of agree with this is that it's caitlin Caitlyn is up there. Caitlyn is really up there for how good their chemistry is. Yes, I can talk about the Felicity chemistry. And yes, the Felicity chemistry is great. 
but we have a bigger sample size with Caitlyn because it was even better. So much so that Cisco referenced that the last or references the last time that Caitlyn got mad at someone the way she does at Barry was when Ronnie was alive. And Ronnie is her, well, ex-husband or deceased husband or deceased fiance, something around, along those lines. And Barry also has always been able to confide in Caitlyn and vice versa. Being able to get her out of her comfort zone, go party, go enjoy yourself, go get a life, so on. And even talk some sense into her while transforming into Killer Frost. I mean, we even get this whole Killer Frost Savitar thing where she trusts Barry and actually aligns with this evil version of Barry, being that of Savitar, helping him kill um, the Black Flash. And, well, it just feels as if Barry and Caitlyn is just a perfect and match made, made in heaven. I mean, he literally wakes up with her right there listening to Lady Gaga. It feels as if that's where it should have went, and it feels like that's where it would have been kind of perfect. I mean, even the future of Caitlyn and Barry could have had some pretty interesting road bumps, especially with the whole Killer Frost back and forth and her kind of like split personality thing and that whole situation. I think it could have been extremely interesting because being tied down to someone like Barry, who she obviously cares about and would care, care about on a totally different level in this reality, it would be, it would add a totally different and probably a way better dynamic in the, in the show because it felt as if Caitlyn was one of the main characters. And I, I know she was technically a side character, but she would have felt as if it wasn't a forced main character the way Iris West kind of felt throughout the story. It felt that she should have been in the more, um, or Iris West should have been in the more side character like role, but it felt like we were kind of getting shoved in our faces this always oh, she's the main character she's the main character and that includes like this odd drama that they like doing now this also leads into barry and iris in my opinion not having that good of chemistry like i said before i, I believe i said this was I, I i'm not sure if it really is because of the acting or if they're real life chemistry or if it's a um a writer's thing which Honestly, I feel like it's more of a, a writer's thing because I think putting Iris in a pseudo sort of leader of Team Flash role kind of just makes it extremely awkward because she's working so closely with on the day to day basis of what sh what Barry does in general. I mean, they literally say in the real world that you really shouldn't mix um, love and work that for the most most of the time it just does not work at all and it just feels like that is a very forced role on her so much so that it just feels like she's just insanely involved in everything and um it just feels extremely out of place like she isn't your typical oracle or felicity in that backseat quarterbacking role like she's just not that type of character and it just feels odd to have her in that type of role Especially when you have people like Cisco, who's extremely equipped to handle a ton of situations. Caitlyn, who's seen a ton of things, and she's extremely knowledgeable on on vast, vast amounts of amounts of science and so on. And Barry himself is extremely intelligent, so it just kind of feels like an odd quarterback role, or kind of forcing her in that that backseat quarterback role is kind of like an an odd thing. That's definitely for sure and i know i referenced this minorly as well um force drama is something that probably made a lot of us dislike iris as well because especially with the whole um why did you leave me barry thing when the whole city was practically exploding and the and if he didn't go into the speed force everybody would have been well dead it's it's kind of an odd thing and i know a lot of people have said um, she has every right to be upset even though it's true that Barry had to do something because she separates um, the Flash and also Barry, her husband or her boyfriend. And I could see why you would say that, but I go right back to the idea that she shouldn't be in the Team Flash role then. 
this idea that she only sees him as her husband and as the person that she loves, cares about, and also wants to spend the rest of her life with, then I would understand a lot more. But when you put her in the forefront of Team Flash as like a pseudo leader, then she needs to also understand the risks of being a hero, the risks of doing the things that Barry does and the things that the entirety of Team Flash does. And there needs to be an understanding that they're going to sacrifice a ton and they're going to continue to sacrifice over and over and over again. And that's a big thing that I have really disliked about the CW's Flash's Iris West. It just frustrated me that she didn't understand the sacrifice. And of course, these are all my opinions. I know I titled it Why Everyone Hated CW Flash's Iris West. I'm sure there's people listening right now that are like, I really enjoyed CW Iris, uh, Iris West. I thought she was great. I think you should change the title. But I mean, you guys know how YouTube works. You know how it is. I mean, I'm going to obviously make it a somewhat controversial title. And some of you may be like, well, that's clickbait. Well, not really. When you get a chunk of people, a large chunk of people that agree with the statement. But nonetheless, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, this is a uh, video that's a little out of place. I'm not going to lie because I don't think I've ever talked about or really have. I haven't talked much about CW uh, Flash. But um, yeah, if you want me to talk about it a little bit more, please let me know. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing it. I really enjoyed CW Flash uh, when I was when I was younger, and obviously the the older seasons or like the newer seasons. I mean, so like you know, season fives and sixes and stuff weren't the best. Um, but still, the first three seasons were great, and I would I would be down to uh, do some more content on CW Flash. But this was my take on why everyone uh, hated or all the reasons why everyone hated CW Flash's Iris West. Um, I would love to hear why you dislike um, CW Flash's Iris West. And if you don't dislike F CW uh, Flash's Iris West, dang, I, I said that like a million times. But if you don't dislike her, um, let me know why you don't dislike her. Let me know why um, you actually like her and all the good things that she does and all the positive things that uh, that come about her being uh still on the show and not dying in season three yeah as always i hope y'all enjoyed if you did leave a like leave a sub leave a comment down below and uh if you enjoyed this video then youtube believes that you'll enjoy this one so might as well go click on it right